put those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. Gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck, that's some heat right there. Used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around to help. <laughs> God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> You take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know that house we've been renting now? in two weeks and the man his name's uh john starts laying into me saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice that's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks so i tell him none of that lincoln get over here man Lincoln, get over here, man. Lincoln, get over here, man. Jesus Christ, it's a fucking robbery! I'll go for help! I'm right here, asshole! There, fucking move! I got the shot! You to think this asshole wants me dead! How's that for you, fucker? Reloading! Taking cover! Let's go! Taking cover! 
Y'all kick the harness nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Give me that damn thing. It's way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. What the hell are you doing? Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Be careful. 
Beautiful. Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want some. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around aside, Aaron was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the hollow in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. All right. I was thinking we can go to this new club in the French Ward. Maybe double date it. Who the hell am I gonna go with? Your great Aunt Beatrice? Oh, God. <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? Oof. That woman has the droopiest, nastiest tits I've ever seen. <laughs> they were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Yeah, like that was a fucking accident. Hey, man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway. You'll go with Regine. Regine? Believe me, once you see her, you're gonna wanna dig right in. <laughs> Matter of fact. She got half the guys in the hollow sniffing around, asking her out, turns them all down. She's only got eyes for you, Lincoln Clay. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait and see, man. One look and your pecker's gonna pop right out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 